Okay, this week you're going to be working on this toe stop assembly, uh, and it's a, a package, uh, an exploded isometric drawing, and in two detailed drawing sheets. Um, <clears throat> there are uh, tutorial videos available uh, that you can download, I, I suggest you do, <laughs> and they will cover the um, isometric drawing of these different parts, okay? <clears throat> It's the instructions for those. And then setting up your, <clears throat> your exploded isometric assembly drawing there. Okay, so uh, the textbook gives you the dimensions of all of your parts. And, of course, you're going to need those to do both the isometric and the orthographic view. So it gives you all the dimensions. And the notes uh, concerning everything, the material type, stuff like all of those kind of details, okay? Um, okay, and so you're going to download this prototype drawing, the Capstone Project 1.1, 1 .1, uh, and you want to save it as a toe stop assembly, something like that. I can't remember what I said in Blackboard. Uh, you're going to make some, check your dimension styles, make sure that these settings are, are correct. Okay, now then, there's, you, you need to read these instructions carefully because they give you the details on these things. Now, uh, sheet number two, which is the, the detail drawing of the toe stop and then the cleat pin, uh, you're going to do what, we're, we're going to call it a front view. It'll be this view right here, okay, and a side view. And the top view is going to be in section. Okay, and then the cleat part is kind of the reverse of that. Okay, so we've got a front, top, and a side view. So it's just a different way of orienting things. And then notes for uh, the cap screw, the nut, and the washer. Okay, the exploded assembly will look like this. Okay. And then it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on drawing um, an isometric counterbore hole. And if you uh, don't understand how to do the um, counterbore hole symbols, go back to, I believe it was chapter 8. Yeah, the end of chapter 8 after the projects in, in the textbook. And it, it explains the, the nomenclature and how to, how to create these notes for counterboard holes and get these symbols in here. So you'll need to do that. Okay. Um, all right. So you're going to fill out the Title block. Let me get over to the actual drawing. Okay, so here's what your drawing sheets are going to look like when you're finished. Okay. Uh, you want to fill in the title block. You're not going to have instructor check print up here. That's that's all my stuff. Okay. But you will fill in the, uh, the parts list. You're going to fill in the title block with the correct information. Uh, so sheet numbers, your name, Chattahoochee Technical College, scale, the date, the class, those kinds of things. So this is the layout you're going to use. There, there is a multi-leader style already set up for balloons that you will use. Okay. Um, here's detail sheet one. Okay. And detail sheet two. The notice the drawings are dimensioned. Okay. Uh, there are notes that you need to include on your drawing sheets. And you've covered how to create these, you know, uh, numbered notes before. Now, let's look at the file you're going to download. This is what you're going to download. Okay, so you'll create your assembly drawing here and, you know, read these instructions that go with the drawings. Okay. 
and see, this gives you a, a, I, I guess a, a pre-formatted text box for your part names and notes that you can copy and place in your drawing. Okay, if you need to move them around. Um, so they're already there, so all you have to do is double click to edit them and fill those things in. Okay, so now for the, uh, there are blocks included. So if we go to our block tab here. Okay, so there's the hex head nut that you would use. <clears throat> there's the cap screw and there's the washer. Now we, you don't need the, the title block and, and the balloons and things because those are already established in your drawing, but you will use those three things. Um, once you've got everything finished, okay, you want to read these instructions in the, here on the, on the layout tabs. Uh, you, want, you know, set your viewport scale, center it up, lock it. Now, when it says go to model space, it, it, it means just change the tab here, not go back to the black screen, okay? Um, edit your title block, and then... Okay, so in the assembly, you're going to do balloons using a multi-liter style. And when you come there, you'll see that there's different ones. So you will use this one right here. And when you place it, it will ask you for the tag number, which is going to be the part number. And follow the sketches in the, in the textbook for which is number one, number two, like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, Fill in the parts list, edit the title block, okay? Same thing over here on, on detail sheet one, go through and follow all these instructions. Okay, you may have to move some things around, it's, you know, may be okay with the way things are. And then once you're finished with this, You want to turn off this model space and miter box layers. Okay, so we don't want those things showing up. And if you use a construction layer, you want to turn that off, you know, also. Uh, you want to save this and turn it in because next week when you come in to do your in-class assignment, you're going to print these drawings <clears throat> uh, and turn them in. Okay, so that's it. If you got questions, um, send me an email, come see us in the lab, and, and we'll get you straightened out on it.